Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, the last time that I vlogged was I think back in like May or June when I did, I started doing an update on my trip um, to London and New York. Um, I found myself struggling with the footage that I had recorded um, each time I try to kind of capture this. I tried to do a video every day while I was overseas and I just never got around to editing it and I just never recorded enough stuff because truthfully in the moment I was trying to enjoy it. I was trying, trying to take it all in and not hide behind the lens. Well, not, so it's not hide behind the lens, but be behind the lens. And so I tried to just enjoy the experience. It's my second trip to New York in the last year and it was my first trip to London in about 14 years so I certainly filmed some stuff but I struggled to edit it and I then kind of went okay well, let me do a London piece and let me let me do a New York piece and I tried to edit that and it just didn't come together and life happened and work happened and things like that and I just kind of lost the plot so I decided finally to just scrap it. A lot's gone on, things have changed in my life and I feel it's a perfect opportunity to start vlogging again and start sharing my knowledge as a creative leader, as a designer, as somebody who's worked in a large corporate and built an in-house team. When I started the vlog, I was experimenting a lot. I'd been watching people like Peter McKinnon and Fun for Louis and um, Casey Neistat. And the truth is, I certainly don't have as much time on my hands to spend on my vlog. I certainly don't live in a place that really accommodates the type of feel that you get from these big cities or kind of small towns and things like that. I live in a fairly large city in terms of kind of the logistics of, of doing things, um, but also not as glamorous as, as the big cities that I've visited and that a lot of these vloggers come from. So th this is no excuse, it's just difficult to make similar content. So I've struggled with that, I don't believe that I have the access to walk around. I actually don't like walking around. Um, I've seen people walking around with their camera and um, I just find it quite awkward. In fact, I, while I was in New York, I actually saw a woman vlogging when I was at some Italian uh, deli. And I just, it looks so awkward to me. So I'm thinking that it's probably best to just shoot a lot of content straight on you know i'm trying to figure out how to do like the multiple camera thing I'll, I'll experiment with that another day but really what i want to do is is share a lot of my insights um as a leader as a designer and hopefully that way i can get content out quicker if i'm not worrying about constantly having to shoot in certain locations and do many cuts and so to make it really interesting i mean i'm fascinated by by the work that these guys do and credit to them all you know but i'm not them i'm me and and what i have they possibly don't have to offer or they would be in front of a camera presenting that stuff so i'm hoping that you guys are still uh, interested in following and, and hearing what i've got to say please like if there's anything that you think that I could answer or, or you'd like me to discuss on my channel, then please, you know, leave a comment below. Um, I'll be sure to answer as quickly as possible. I'm gonna try and get these vlogs out as frequently as I can. I'm hoping daily, maybe it won't be daily, maybe it'll be every other day. But yeah, I think that do, I'd like to give this another go. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of my insights and I hope you're glad to have me back. Like, 
subscribe, leave a comment and stay cool.